I call it the way of harmony and what I believe is going far beyond simple methods of attack or self-defense. I seek to dispel any aggression through harmony, self-discipline, self-respect, ultimately promoting peace. My name is Ron Smith, I'm 71 years of age. I was born in Collingwood, a suburb of Melbourne, on the 8th of the 6th, 1944. My boxing career started at 15 and I went through till I was 25. I always made sure I was very well prepared, mentally and physically. Had a terrific team around me of mainly old blokes. I always felt quite confident that I've done the work, done the preparation, and learnt enough skills that, uh, that I was, always felt at the top of my game because of the preparation I've put in. As far as competition boxing goes, I had 108 fights, 90 amateur bouts at quite a high level, 18 professional fights, quite a few of those were on Channel 7, on, television show called TV Ringside. It opened doors that normally a young kid from a poor family would never, never have had the opportunity to uh, be exposed to. So it taught me a lot about life rather than boxing if you like. It just opened a lot of doors. John Favishan and I were both competing at about the same time. John was far better than I, and uh, in fact I believe that him and Lionel Rose were the best two boxers in my 70 years that I've ever seen. In later years our lives crossed, our paths crossed a lot. 24 years ago when John was hit by a car, um, it was a turning point in his life, his, his whole family's life, and it was after this that through mutual friends that I met his wife, Glenis. I've tried to help John and I now work with him every week. This has been going on for years now. Uh, we've, but I think I respect him even more now than when he was in his prime as world, world featherweight champion. He still believes he has a chance to improve and I think that's that holding on to some hope keeps him going for me. I informally used to try and help a lot of people put them on the path. Most of them used to make excuses and say, oh, it's easy for you. And I, at the time I was running marathons, doing triathlons, swimming, running, cycling every day virtually. Uh, and it was then that uh, I felt my calling was really not the work I was doing, but to try and assist people. And we're in our 15th year now since uh, we began our journey with lifelong health and fitness. I feel great that both my wife and I have been able to assist so many people that wouldn't have exercised without a little bit of push and help and motivation. In itself, I really believe martial arts, karate and all these things are fantastic if it's done in the right manner. The power of the mind, uh, but the aggression side of it certainly frightens me. I think there's too much aggression in the world today. What the answer is, I don't know. I wish I did. But with people that I've come across in my 56 years now of teaching, teaching young people, trying to teach them about life, not only boxing, but I think having respect for yourself and respect for others. I've learnt over my 71 year period about a lot about life through quite a lot of mistakes. Uh, mistakes that I've made, relationships, financial mistakes, uh, 
growing up and learning life from the School of Hard Knocks really, the University of Life. So I left school at 13, but I believe I've finally just about educated myself to not a bad level. I really love the training rather than the competition and I really felt that it, it taught me a lesson about life that what you put in is what you get out. And that, that related then into my working life, my relationships and uh, my philosophy on life. Really, it's all about what you put in is what you get out. You put a lot in, you get a lot out. At this time of my life, my goal is to keep as fit, healthy, strong as I can possibly be to continue being a role model to my kids. All of the people that come to Battleizer Boxing Centre at Lifelong Health and Fitness try to uh, encourage all of the thousands of people that we've met along the way to look after themselves and be the best they can for as long as they can. At the end of the day, I really believe that it's not the boxer that makes the man, but the man that makes the boxer.